Hello, everyone. Um, we are continuing with our um, score reduction exercises, taking something really difficult and reducing it to something much more doable and playable. So our next challenge is Amazing Grace. Um, the first thing that I would like you to do and submit it to me via video is to come up with the course for Amazing Grace. Of course, we all know the song. Um, if you don't know the song for any reason, you can easily find it on YouTube. The chords that you put for Amazing Grace, I want you to be able to play it. And I want you to be able to play it for me two ways. The first way, so that will be video number one, I want you just to be able to play the chords with the left hand. I also want you to, to do it in the key of G major. I will send instructions, written instructions with this assignment as well. But in key of G major, and I should probably turn on my piano, but here we are, G major, just like that, yes. Um, so, on, uh, so on and so forth. Um, just a little hint, there will be secondary dominance. Um, that's what we have been doing for the most of the semester. So expect the same uh, in this score. So that is step one, just playing those chords. Yeah, with the video, um, record it please. The second video, uh, I would like you to play the same chords, but I want you to create some sort of an accompaniment with both hands. I just recorded the piano exercise that you should watch first, um, and it also will be on Canvas. And we talk a little bit about different accompanimental styles. Here, I want you to be able to play the accompaniment with both hands and sing along. You can sing it with lyrics, you can sing it la la la, you can sing whichever way you want, as long as you hear some sort of voice um, and an accompaniment. So if you decide la, 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 yeah, um, you can do something like that. Uh, another example would be Yeah, just rolled chords. Um, any kind of accompanimental style that you can come up with that is appropriate for Amazing Grace will be welcomed, but I do want to hear two hands. So, video number one, block chords, left hand. Video number two, hands together, accompanimental style that is appropriate for Amazing Grace. Okay, then after that, you will receive a score that will look like that. It will look like that, it is an arrangement. And um, I have tried in a previous uh, video to share the screen with you and that did not work for some reason. Therefore, I'm just kind of showing it to you here. But this score um, has many different challenges. And what I would like to, for you to do is to write down for me, okay, write down uh, in a separate document, what are some of the difficulties that you can identify in that score? We have done it with other scores before, so it should not be a big deal. So what are some of the difficulties that you can see in that score? That's number one. Number two, what is the style of that particular arrangement of the Amazing Grace, okay? Number three, I want to see the harmony, written out harmony, hopefully, your harmony that you picked out by ear will be identical to this to to this one right um that's that's three so those three things in a written form all right okay next after you're done with that exercise what you will see is that you have the harmony and um here's the way i did it i just put here i'm giving you sort of the answers here but um just underneath right i wrote uh, some of the harmonic progressions i uh, wrote it with letters if roman numerals are easier for you to do 
please um, do so with Roman numerals. In any case, um, please practice your left hand again, right? And hopefully after you have recorded your left hand for me for like playing by ear and singing and doing right this kind of thing, um, this, this arrangement will not be very difficult for you to play just the left hand, but still practice it, please. Okay, and then after you are really secure with your left hand and with the rhythm here, hint, <laughs> with the rhythm here, then start adding little components from your right hand or from the, not just the right hand, like really from the score. Some little components that would make it more of what, what the arranger here did. You don't have to add everything as we have talked before. Just some of the, of the little elements that will help enhance um, your playing, okay? And so that's what I would like you to record next is what product happened as a result uh, to that. You will not record the whole entire thing because it's like six or seven pages long, but just, I think, uh, like two pages or page and a half. Um, the, sh the score will be shared with you on Canvas as well and attached to this video. So hopefully it will be very clear. If for any reason you don't understand anything, obviously let me know and we will meet um, via Zoom uh, and figure things out. But that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to review how, how we reduce the score just one more time. The first thing we always identify, what is difficult about this score? Maybe you don't need to reduce it at all, right? If your piano skills are great, fantastic. Number two, what is the style in which this particular uh, uh, arrangement is written? Number three, identify the harmony and write down the chords like for the lead sheet um, in every measure or in every harmonic um, change, practice your left hand, practice your harmony. So that if worst case scenario, you can always keep harmony and uh, steady, steady bit together. And finally five, fill in the elements from the score uh, with your right hand and make it a more interesting arrangement so it's not just blocked chord. You can do it through rhythm, you can do it through some melodic um, components. There are many different ways. We have talked about that. I know you will do great. If you have any questions, let me know. That's it for, for this assignment. That is the assignment for Amazing Grace. Thanks guys.